Hey guys, so we're back working on the frame again. Um, I got it, uh, I spent a little bit of time getting it fitted and well, and I just tack welded it up. Um, just kind of got everything lined up and everything straight. Basically all I did was, I just did a bunch of measurements from this corner to this corner, and that corner to that corner, and then from here to there, uh, no sorry, there, from there to there on both sides. Um, and then made sure that it was level the, like, this is the same level as this um, top and bottom you do a few other measurements if it's a lot easier with a frame table so I'm not going to get into doing that uh, if you're doing it just make sure everything's level everything's straight you know everything's flush you don't have big gaps on, or not big gaps but big uh, ridges on anything so then when you grind it it looks nice not really like super hard to do for me anyways um, my famous famous word is everything's easy but um, so we got the other side, which you guys seen the ugly gap yesterday. I won't show it to you again because it's an ugly gap, but I'll fix that. It's not a big deal. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to throw it back into time lapse now, and um, I'm going to I'm going to weld. I'm going to start on that side. You guys aren't going to be able to see anything in the welding anyway, so I'll probably talk a little bit during the time lapse of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, but you guys won't be able to see because it'll be too bright anyway. But anyways, I'll put you on time lapse and we'll catch you in a bit. Well guys, you can see me welding this thing up. Just getting that gap welded up. Um, just basically just doing the final little fitment and weld on it. I'm um, going through this pretty quick. Doesn't take too long to get everything kind of prepped and ready to go. After you get it, you know, get everything cleaned and ready. You know, you get the welder set up and it doesn't take too long to do it. I only took me, I don't know, maybe start to finish after I got it leveled and tacked together. Maybe it took me two and a half, three hours maybe. Um, to get everything done. You can just see I'm marking out the fish plates there now. I'm gonna cut those up and then we'll get them I get them tacked in there. And uh hey guys. Uh so we got the frame all welded together here. I haven't finished grinding it. I gotta get some different grinding discs. Uh I don't have one that'll the flap wheel that I have won't fit in this area and so and I don't want to grind it with these little tiny guys. So I gotta get some smaller um, some smaller flap wheels to finish that off. I just wanna dress it so it looks nice. Um, I welded the inside and the outside and then I just made these, these fish plates. So that's just gonna go, basically it's just gonna go like that across, across the weld area. Whoop, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. So basically that's just gonna go in there like that. I don't know if you guys would be able to see that or not, but it's basically gonna go in there like that. And it just gives it a little extra support just to make sure everything's kosher, right? So <clears throat> it, it turned out not too bad. What I lack in grinding skills apparently, I have in welding skills. So like I said, I, I gotta get a flap wheel to clean that up, but did vertical up. Um, I did vertical down on some of the inside, but I'm gonna be welding these plates on, so I don't really care, but everything else is vertical up, just to get that good penetration in there, right? So we're gonna get these welded in there, um, and I'm gonna do these holes that the plates are gonna cover. What I'm gonna do with those, oh, these plates, these holes that the plates are gonna cover, um, I'm going to plug weld those or rosette weld them, um, just so that doesn't, there, I don't want, there would be material behind it to make it to let it rust right so i want to get all that out of there so anyways i'm going to put back into time lapse i'll weld get these all uh, tacked and welded in there um, and then i'll get it grind off tomorrow because like i said i just don't have the flap wheels i'll have to get some three and a half um flap wheels or three i can't remember if they're three or three and a half but they're small so the ones i usually use are five inch flap wheels you can get four and a half and then you can get smaller ones too so anyways uh, put you back into there and then uh, we'll get back at you to get that welded in. So now I'm just getting into tacking them, make sure I get them in roughly the same spot. Um, doing the rosette weld there and talk with my buddy Bill there for a minute. <clears throat> get the rosette welds done up and then uh, yeah, getting into just finishing off the welds. Big thing with doing welds is you want to be comfortable, that's the biggest. Hey guys, so we got this thing all welded up. I just got to grind it. I don't know if you, well, you guys will be able to see that, but I got plates in there, fish plates in there. It's all welded up. 
it's all rosette welded and plugged and all that jazz all i gotta do is like i said i just gotta get some small flap wheels so i can get this cleaned off then we'll hit it with the da so you won't even be able to tell coat of paint should be good to go so i got a bunch of stuff on order for this thing um this weekend i'm hoping to get the rear differential in the truck um and get the u-bolts tomorrow um, i'm hoping to get the rear differential in the truck tomorrow um this weekend the front i can't because i don't have the control arms but i'll probably get it in here um, just sitting in the right spot on some tires um, just so that event you know like i can get this thing in basically into a roller because i'd like to in a short period of time get some of this done um so anyways uh we will get i think likely it won't take me that long to get the rear diff in um so i'm thinking that we will be working on the head some this weekend hopefully i can get it um i can do the guides i can cut the seats and maybe surface and o-ring it It'd be super cool if I could get that much done, but that's quite a bit of work um, to be able to do on a Saturday, um, being that I usually don't bust too hard to do stuff on Saturdays. But we will see. Um, we're busy in the shop still, as always. Um, I would like to thank everybody that has been that has bought um, that has bought that has bought um, sanding blocks. Uh, now sold a total of 18 sanding blocks so way more than I actually thought I was going to I'm gonna make up another batch um, I'm gonna make up another 10 um, just so that I have something sitting on the shelf if anybody wants any uh, now I do have somebody finally on the go or on the go for the website so hopefully I'll have that going in the next so I'm told three to four weeks ish um, so I'm hoping that that will have that on the go and you know t-shirts and all that stuff kind of is all going to kind of come together at the same time um, while i'm talking i'm shutting the lights down and getting ready to go home but uh that so that's what we got on the go anyways so for you guys that there's gonna be lots going more on the build uh the the, sh the short box we're gonna be finishing the six seven p pump obviously because that's what's gonna be going in there uh i got hopefully end of the month i'll have the rest of the parts to put the p pump 12 valve all together um, the manifold the turbo and we'll do all the lines i just i don't want to i kind of got it sitting to the side covered over right now so i don't want to unwrap it all the time um so anyways so when we get that done we will get there and then uh yeah we'll go from there so you guys stay tuned lots of stuff coming uh, i'm gonna try to do a few tricks and tips stuff this week the rest of the week um i don't know well i guess the rest of the week i guess i shouldn't say that today's thursday i think Pretty sure it's early, so I guess tomorrow's Friday. So, anyways, um, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. You got any questions, comments, and uh, thanks for watching.